Hey guys, Shaver 1000 here. Today, sorry about the noise in the background, they're trimming trees right across the street again. So, I'm gonna do this kind of in between when it's real bad. So, we got this Predator 212. This is a motor I wanna put on my Coleman bike. And, looks like it's got a fuel pump on it. Anyway, we're going to see if it's going to run first, make sure it's not knocking. I'm going to check the oil. A couple things I need to do first. This, as you can see, the string has broken on it. We're going to fix that. I want to check over the clutch. I guess the clutch is gone because they used it in another engine. So, it's still, it still has the uh, governor and throttle hooked up up here. Of course, that'll probably end up getting deleted. Uh, so, like I said, it's got a fuel pump. We'll have to check all this out, see what they got going on here. Looks like the that's broken, a little rusty. We'll have to uh, probably put some tape around there or something. But anyway, guys, let's um, <coughs> we're gonna get this off of here. I think I've got one of these. I'm going to check. If I do, I'm just going to slap it on there for now. Uh, temporarily permanent. But I do have one of these. If it'll fit, that'll be great. I think it's on a Predator or came off of a Predator. So we'll see if it's any good. Then we'll take the cover off the uh, torque converter and we'll check and see what's going on with the clutch thing. I know I'm going to have to... Um, replace the uh, sprocket in there because that's for a number 35 chain and I got for the Coleman it's going to take a 420 chain so let's go ahead let's go out back let's get this piece <clears throat> we'll bring it around we'll get it put on we'll do some checking we'll check the well I'll check the oil that's pretty boring for you guys and we'll set it on ground we'll see if we can get it to start Okay guys, so this is the bike that engine's gonna be going on if it's any good. This is the engine that came off of that bike. So we've got a clutch here. Needs cleaned up. Uh, let me see. Good gas tank it looks like. So this is what we're after. Now, if it's the same thing, we'll be all right. I believe that's a Predator. So, and it's got one of these on it. They just screw on. Let me screw this off of here. We'll put this on the other one. Okay, guys, so we've got our spark plug boot off of there. So, if it runs good, I'm supposed to have surgery Thursday. It's Monday right now, but we got a hurricane or a possible hurricane coming in. They're watching it. It's not named yet, but if it does come, it's supposed to be here on Thursday. So I don't know what's going on there. Still got this thing. Thought about taking the motor off of this and putting on that red one over there. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. I mean, this was free. Should I sacrifice this and put that motor on that go-kart? I think that would be cool. All right, let's get around front. It's still kind of noisy out there, but I'll do the best I can. I'm sorry, guys. All right, let's see if I can do this before it gets too bad. I mean, noise-wise. I only got two holding this on. Same thing. All right. I 
think I got some of these screws around back. I'll go check. Okay, let me go find another screw or two. Let's get this put back on. So only three of them holding on. That's that's fine. Now this up here. Okay. Let's go ahead. Let's change this. I did check the oil. I'm going to have to put a little bit in it. So that'll go on there. Still got part of that rope up in there. It might, I might be able to uh, cut the end off. Here's the end of it, but you know what I mean. Cut it off and melt it so it doesn't fray. And put this handle back on it. And use it on something else, maybe. Okay, so there's that. Let's put this here. This don't have points, so I'm not even gonna check the spark. This is a, a fuel pump they got on there for some reason. I don't know why. It should, this should come down and gravity feed. They got a pump on it. Well, it's got the clutch in it. He said they had to use the clutch out of it for something else. Um, let's take this off. That way I can inspect it. all that but that'll be you know we'll be able to run that like that it does have an extra washer here um we're gonna have to figure out a way to set this on something because this this little table is not gonna hold well that's not gonna be spinning so let me get this on the ground and uh We'll give it a couple pulls, see if it starts, or fires, or something. I, I don't see any fuel in this um, filter, so it may just dribble a little bit down here, and the carburetor's loose. I'm going to tighten it up, but we may dribble a little bit down in there until it starts pumping. We'll see if the pump even works the way they have it connected. I've seen them connected like that before, but we'll see. Okay, guys. So I went down, got some oil, topped it off. I took the fuel pump off of it because it seemed like it was gravity feeding fine. I put some fresh fuel in it. 
got the fuel turned on, chokes on. Uh, switch is on now. Let's see if it'll start. Okay, that ain't good. <laughs> let me let me figure that out. Okay, not a big deal. It was just the uh, the one bolt was too long. So I got two in it. Like I said, I don't know if this carburetor's any good. I don't know if the shutoff works. It says it's on, there's off, there's on. It's getting fuel to the carburetor. Well, to the shutoff. There we go. Let's take that muffler off. Okay. I took the muffler off. Now let's see how it sounds. guys I got FedEx I'm waiting on something so we'll see if that's it if it is it'll be cool it'll be another video tonight hang on a second guys okay guys so it runs it's been sent for a couple years I think he said about three years he said two and a half to three we'll just say three years started up pretty good it runs best with the choke halfway, so I either need to adjust the carburetor, clean the carburetor, or probably put a bigger jet in it. We'll see. Um, but yeah, that's uh, and like I said, it's still got the governor hooked up to it, so that's pretty peppy. So that's going to be going on my Coleman. So stay tuned for more videos of that. It's only got today and tomorrow. So, because Wednesday I'm not supposed to do anything. I'm not supposed to have caffeine, of course, no smoking, um, anything like that. So, but we'll see what the storm does. Anyway, it runs. It sounds good. No knocks. Um, I started with the muffler on it so I could hear better. Of course, it was really quiet. So, I wanted to take the muffler off to show you guys the difference. So, anyway. That is what I've been waiting for. It came a day early. There should be another video up of that tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow, not tonight. I said tonight earlier, but I meant tomorrow. I'll be filming tonight, today. And then, uh, yeah, so after my surgery, the next thing is going to be my Coleman. I'm going to get it up and running. And, uh, got a couple guys interested in it wanting to trade me go-karts which I'm thinking about because I've been wanting to build a wheelbarrow cart got a couple of wheelbarrows out back <coughs> so <coughs> excuse me so anyway 
yeah it's got the clutch there the clutch looks fine the springs look good I kind of inspected a little bit it seems to be fine so maybe he was talking about the recoil he said clutch but the clutch is there and it kind of looks like I don't know if that's a number 35 chain or 420 I would think since it was on that little bike it would have a number 35 chain I'm pretty sure my Coleman's a 45 so I might have to buy or a 420 I might have to buy a 420 chain for it we'll just have to see but I'm gonna get a riser plate because they have to set up one inch now on that one of JD's I found four old sockets uh, Taiwan sockets it was almost exactly an inch so I used that on his this one I think I might get the riser plate if what it does it's a plate you bolt onto your bike and then you bolt your engine onto this plate and it raises it up it up an inch because of the torque converter so but I mean I got everything they originally had jack shafts I got everything put a jack shaft on that but I like the torque converters better they're so much smoother quieter so but anyway guys it runs like I said I didn't check for spark because it's got electronic ignition I figured it would it would have spark you know if anything it'd be the plug those things are pretty much indestructible unless they've been wet for a long time but so and uh, yeah I don't see anything dripping out of the carburetor or anything so that's awesome alright guys thanks for watching another will it run yes it will I figured it would he said it did I believe the guy had no reason to lie he had, they had it on that little red mini bike out there and he said they just couldn't you know you barely give a gas and it wanted to flip over on you uh, so yeah I'm not sure what I'm gonna put on that I have a three and a half horse um, which would be error correct um, but them things I don't know. We'll just have to see. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. Gone for now. We'll see you guys in the next one. And uh, everyone take care and stay safe. So, bye-bye.